very good afternoon and welcome back to the program. Touchline is the show on Y254. My name is Maxwell Wasike. Joining him on set right now is former uh, Arambe Stars, the national team defender, James Situma. He also featured for several local teams, and including Task FC, Madara United, FC Leopards, and Sofa Parker. Jemo, good to join us. Good afternoon. How have you been, man? Kosawa. Kosalama. Eh, Whether you know my kidogo, but all the same, I'm good. You are good. How is settling outside now football world? How is it like outside here? Now that you are used to playing football <laughs> and over the weekends, it's not yeah, about yeah. match day. Exactly. How is it like? It's, it's, it's a transition, but uh, you have to accept and move on because uh, you're used to playing like I played for almost 17 years and... Uh, and uh, you are you are not play you are no longer playing. So somehow you know something you love. You know it's it's you have it's to the be passion. there. It's the passion you have. But uh, at times you just to have to make a, a decision and uh, you say okay, uh, it's enough. And you have to to also offer football from the other side. But the good thing is that uh, even the first games I I watched Madare play against Bandari. So I think I'll be having sometimes and go and uh, cheer the the guys because I love football and. Uh, I have lived football. You had a great testimonial match a few weeks ago at Camp Toyoyo. You, alongside your friend uh, Jerry Santos, who also played for several local teams, uh, most recent being Poster Rangers. How, how did it feel? The atmosphere was great. I'm reliably informed yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. the crowd was, <laughs> you know, electrifying. How did it feel? Uh, it was uh, amazing. I think uh, we came up with uh, that idea. It was like a young idea, but uh, we wanted to to make it work. So we committed ourselves to to make sure that the the event happens. And uh, it was so amazing because we didn't expect the the turnout to be that um, that big. And uh, we really appreciate the guys that who came over and make it happen, uh, make it a success. Because uh, you know, if 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 you are playing football and uh, you you have your testimonial match and uh, you have uh, so many friends coming around it means that when you are playing you are also making friendship so it's it was really an emotional uh, emotional game and uh, mixed emotions because at the same time you know you 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 feeling like okay it's it's enough um, i'm leaving the active uh, active scenes and uh, also uh, you feel like okay you You'll never play again. Uh, maybe like uh, compete like uh, at the highest level. It's just like uh, we have these Sunday to tournaments. This is the time now we we start to play those Sunday tournaments to make sure that we keep fit. But all the same, uh, we thank God because uh, it has it was it was been uh, it was a very very great uh, journey. And uh, you know, playing for 17 seasons is not a mean achievement. And uh, yeah. I really really thank God. And uh, those people who really. Uh, meant at me and also pushed me towards uh, my sex because it was uh, it was not an easy task to play and uh, i remember we we had a lot of challenges but uh, i had a lot of guys who really pushed me and uh, who really uh, contributed towards my success in football i know your football started <coughs> back then at high school level when you were featuring at sirakaru boys in those parts of uh, western part of the country but do you think now uh, Kenya Secondary Schools Sports Association games play an integral part as far as the growth of any sportsman is concerned. Because if it were not for those school games, you wouldn't have been noticed. How did it start? 100% uh, uh, right because uh, you have to start somewhere and uh, I believe uh, we have so many talents in the in the in the secondary schools high schools and uh, it's all about uh, maybe having the structures and to make sure that we monitor these guys uh, their their development and make sure that they when they come to the to the top league they, they are able to to perform and also develop their talents to the highest level because we have so many talents and uh, you know at times uh, it's so challenging to play uh, maybe I can I, I, I can say uh, uh, the western part because we don't have so much exposure you see unlike maybe uh, around town like Nairobi uh, or other places because uh, you know we have uh, guys coming up uh, with a lot of talent but uh, that exposure that chance that you are playing and you somebody's maybe scouting you is somehow a challenge and also we don't have those uh, guys who are so committed to make sure that they move around to the schools to see that they they spot the talents and maybe nurture the the talents it's somehow hard because uh, you could find maybe a talented lad maybe down there for almost maybe five six years but 
no one hakuna mtu amewaona unaona inakuwa ni shida but uh, we believe uh, with the with the good intention and the the passion if we have guys that who want to develop sports uh, to the highest level we'll have uh, that structure that we make sure we fall up to the guys down there and they because those are the guys that always form the under 17 and under 20 team so do we have do we have uh, enough uh, machineries to to make sure that they go down there and maybe fall up to the those talents because we have so many schools yes. so i think um, if if we can come up with a good structure then it's something good for the for the guys i've seen several mm. people who played football mm. before former internationals like bonface mm. ambani and even those who are in coaching positions like Sami Pams or Molo Karen Lad Poster Rangers joined <coughs> Waze Premier League to help them keep fit. <laughs> Have you quite taken that particular route? <laughs> uh, not yet, but uh, I believe, uh, you know, if you love football, uh, it's something good because uh, you have to keep fit. Uh, and you have you have to always stay uh, more stronger because you know you I have I have been playing I have been so actively playing so it's not a matter of time it's not a matter of maybe when I stop playing it's just like okay maramoja ni mewacha so uh, I really need to to join those teams and uh, also you know it's still business so if you have a good team around who can give me good signing fee then uh, I'll think about it. So, which means what you are trying to insinuate is that <laughs> you, you can make a reverse decision, just like Dennis Oliech did after announcing retirement. Gormaya mm -hmm. res, uh, signed him. Mm -hmm. he, he was uh, he came back to Kenyan football limelight. So you can as well do that. No, 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 no. Okay, I just meant the uh, the teams that play this Sunday football, but not active. Oh, not active football. Yeah, not active football. Let's go to the nitty gritties as to why you are here. I know Kef has played a big role as far as advocating for the concerns welfare of footballers, both current and former is concerned. You are the president of Kefwa Kenya Footballers Welfare Association. How is the progress so far? Yeah, I always say we have always grown and uh up to now we are still growing and uh, we have so many things in store we have a lot of work to do for the players you know okay the main thing is to protect the players rights but uh, beside that we have uh, so many activities we have uh, so many things on board to make sure that uh, the players uh, are have knowledge and also they are developed we see or we always have uh, education on board and uh, like the, the last time i was here i told you that uh, we have uh, uh, we have uh, personal branding, you see, for the players because, you know, since the departure of Super Sports, uh, I can say, like, it's, it's hard to to follow or to to keep in touch with the Kenyan football. So we make sure that uh, nowadays uh, social media is a game changer and uh, if you use it positively, it can build you as a, as a player and as a brand. So as a player and as a brand, you are a role model to the young upcoming player so we always uh, make sure we teach the players that they have to to live up to the expectation as the role models of the upcoming players because as for me you know i have uh, i have a lot of young guys behind me who sees me as their role model models and they want uh, they want also to achieve what i have achieved in football so it's all all about education and uh, also we have other activities uh, like um uh, recently, the other day, we just um, gave uh, 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 a certain uh, uh, a player to a Loret Falcons uh, a half of the scholarship that he wants. Uh, she wants to go to school. So those are a part of the things that we are doing as an association to make sure that their lives are better. Because these are the guys that we want them back to the to the game. So if he, she comes back to the game with a lot of uh, information, knowledge, and with passion, we believe. Uh, the the sports industry will be there in the right hands. I remember hosting you some time back alongside a man who is now having his entity pushing for, you know, uh, player welfare in terms of recruitment to clubs. That is Ronald Okoth. He's still a player and he attributed his football to your mentorship as someone is looking up to. And uh, just like you indicated, player branding is a, an essential aspect as far as growth of any individual is concerned in sports circles, not only in sports circles, but across, you know, various undertakings. But what do you make of, you know, Kenyan players? I know of 
several talents in Kenyan football, especially in Kenyan Premier League, immense potential. But when it comes even to their social media names, somebody is <laughs> calling himself Messi <laughs> at the expense of uh, his uh, profile bearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What are you doing to? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, of course, like even award. even myself, like yes. uh, I have had uh, so many role models and uh, the defenders. We have uh, Sergio Ramos. We have uh, uh, Lucio, the Brazilians. Yes. Uh, those are the guys that I looked up to, and uh, I believe they really pushed me towards to my success because when I watch them play i just I, i say to myself okay i want to be like this guy so it it motivates you but uh, to the social media i believe uh, it's good like for personal branding to use your really names you know because you know uh, social media also if it has uh, its negativity you know when something happens uh, maybe in a negative way you know it it, it just uh, turns upside down your name and it supports your name so we always uh, encourage them to use their really names because as Situma James, I want to associate with Maxwell. You see, they're really Maxwell. Yes. Not like, you know, at times I'm, when I see the picture is Maxwell, but when I read the name is like maybe Mkata Ushuru, you see. <laughs> <laughs> so I ask myself question that, okay, am I really dealing with, with, the, the, right with, person, with the right the person? Uh, ex <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so oh, it's uh, something that we are also doing because it's, it's, it matters a lot also. Because also you want them to get like maybe ambassadors, ambassadors uh, roles. So the the corporates will want to associate with the really person. person. Yes. So that's really try our level best to to make sure that they they um they use their really names and also you know uh, players they are funny you know some have they are just ignorance they have they just have that ignorance they. Okay, me na fanya vitu vile nataka, you see. But few who listen, I think they don't know the repercussions. Yeah, yes. Few who listen, who listen, I think they they go places. And uh, you you talked about uh, Ronald. I remember uh, when he was uh, at Western Steamer some yes. years back, and uh, then you were just talking on online. Like uh, he told me how he was feeling. He was so frustrated. He's not playing, and he feels that okay, he, nothing can work through football. You see. So what I did is. Uh, told him like okay you don't have to give up you know this life you have challenges and you just have to keep on pushing you just, just a little bit of course my director Brian Kimani is telling me that you hold your mic properly <laughs> just raise your hand just okay. that, that way now we can continue we are talking about Ronaldo Kot he has featured for several clubs locally western steamer when he was at steamer you interacted and yeah yeah, yeah. so many times and uh, that's the time uh, as i was saying is that uh, he felt like okay Uh, he he won't make it in football because he ha we have a lot of frustration he he doesn't see future in football yes. but uh, uh, you know uh, i told him like if, if if you are talented challenges will come we'll have up, ups and downs but you just remain focused and uh, set your goals and work towards your goals and uh, i'm so happy what he's doing at the moment he has an agency for the players something that we really 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 appreciate as the the organization of the players and something that lacked in kenyan football exactly state. you know we we have to start somewhere and i always uh, say that if some someone comes up with something positive for the players or something positive that can move this football industry forward then we have to give him support we have to give him an encouragement but most of the times uh, we have negative energy like when someone comes up with something like okay we have it what if it doesn't work out unlike it can work out you see so for me i'm happy for him he's still young and uh, his mind and uh, vision is so big and uh, we are ready also to to support we, to support him because for us as, as an association we are just open our doors are open with for anyone to come around and share ideas so long as we grow the industry of football. I know there is life after football in European, especially in England. I've seen several former players who now do punditry on television and they are very good at it. Gary Neville, Jamie Carragher, the likes of Danny Murphy, Paul Scholes, Rio Ferdinand. Yourself, you've done that as well, but I understand you meant to start pursuing uh, some further education. Just bring us up to speed with What are you planning to do <laughs> now from football to yeah. business? What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> I know okay we have a famous quote around town is that Nairobi ni shamba la mawe. 
So, <laughs> okay, I'm happy that uh, I'm living my life so comfortable through football and um, I have been playing football. I always talk football, as you said. But uh, again, you know, I'm a, I'm a leader and uh, where the organization is at the moment, it needs a lot of knowledge, you know. So uh, running a, such a big organization uh, without knowledge is something like, uh, you know, and we have dig digital world at the moment needs a lot of work to do. So you need to do a lot of research, you know, to, to have... Uh, like to stay on top of your game. So uh, I'm going back to school uh, for business management and also for sports management and administration. I believe uh, with the passion I have and with the knowledge, if I'm well equipped, then uh, I'm able to run the organization up to the highest level because we believe uh, as players we are, the, we, are, we are the game. Without us, there's no game. So I believe uh, we are the game changer. And uh, if, if we have knowledge and... Uh, put things in the right way, I, th I believe that uh, one day, one time, things will change around in, in, in our country. So from business, you'll again pursue something that is sports related? Yeah, of, of course. So that it's in line with your Yeah, duty. yeah, exactly. Oh, you know, the good thing is that, uh, you know, with business management, it's, it's, it's a general word. Yes. It's a general thing uh, because uh, even if I just do the business and administration only. It helps me even also in running the organization, you see. So I believe uh, if I'm done with that and also do the sports, I believe I'll be good to go. And uh, we also encourage many players to go the, the same direction. Because we believe if we have, uh, like let's say, uh, most of the clubs are owned with the, with the players, former players that they have knowledge, I believe we will be good to go. I think next time, Brian Kimani, you just have to make sure that mics are set so that James Situma doesn't forget on how to hold his mic. But let's talk about in the capacity of president of Kenya Footballers Welfare Association, KF. I've seen several uh, former players uh, joining leadership in various aspects, even in the political arena. Just like, you know, George Weiss, the Liberian president, he played football, he conquered, he was at some point voted the... Uh, uh, not only African player of the year, but Ballon d'Or winner featured for clubs like AC Milan. Talk to us about the position of your body with regards to players' declaration in political arena. McDonald Mariga, the only Champions League winner, Kenyan Champions League winner now, vying for a political seat in Nairobi. Do you support such of, of course, why not? Because uh, I think uh, each and every person has his vision, you know, and uh, it's, all, it's all about leadership. And uh, if he vies for Kibra MP, maybe he wins, you know, he'll be a leader. He, he leads the, the entire community and remember also sports is, is, is involved inside. Remember you talked about uh, um, uh, Liberian president, you know, that I think uh, it was the right thing for him because he had a lot of influence in the country and with the, maybe the political instability in the country, he was the right person to come on board and make sure that the country has uh, that peaceful, uh, uh, stays peaceful, you see. So... For me, it's it's no it's it's no longer an issue if if you have uh, players running for political positions. It it just um, it's just um, it, you have to think on uh, on on a leadership aspect of you because remember uh, even in those in that constituency you have uh, so many young players. So as a player, you are leading you are leading a such a such a certain area, and uh, it's 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 it all back, goes back to the to the thing that you plan to do for the for the entire constituency because sports is involved. Remember, if we have like around uh, a, a team has um, maybe like 20, 30 players, those are 30 families, you see. So if if you just touch even two players in a certain community and make sure that they him, they improve their living standards, that's something positive for the for the entire community and uh, also for you as a, as a, as a leader. But it's it it all goes back to the initiative that you want to give the back to the to the guys you are leading. So, so uh, let's talk about something else. The aspect of you know funding from abroad in terms of your operations. I know financial support to our entities has been the problem. As you speak right now, Football Kenya Federation can't pay national Super League referees because of you know lack of enough sufficient <coughs> finances. Have you been running your operations? Of course, we always uh, f have uh, small funding from FIFPRO to make sure that we run our activities. But as you said, money is never enough, you know. It comes, uh, it also depends with the members you have, you see. Like I think um, 
South Africa gets a big jungle a little bit from the entire African countries because they have a lot of members who are registered. That's why you see us around the country also going to make sure that we register the members to make sure that they are all in the in our data so that we can get something that can maybe also uh, do other activities, you see. But uh, if you have... Um, a, num a small number of uh, members also it means small amount of money and uh, you know uh, we we are thinking outside the box because it's not it's never enough and uh, you know at times the money that comes in it it, it we only manages to run the office you see at times like uh, we go to for the activities outside the outside the the town you have to at times to to chip in from from your pocket to make sure that you you facilitate their guys to move around and that is because of the passion we have for the for the players and we believe that we are building something and also we just want to encourage the corporates to come on board also to 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 support the this organization of, of players because they always support the clubs so i believe the same way like uh, we have also some companies supporting the federation i believe also we need something but you know uh the something that may be what always happen is that uh, most of the corporates feel believe i don't know believe like we are still young or no okay. <laughs> like we don't mean anything but uh, i believe with time uh, one day we'll we'll be tutakuwa watu apa kwa Kenya but cause na believe tunaendelea ku grow kila siku so it's just a matter of time but uh, we are just one step by step and we believe uh, we'll have the right time and we'll be will be there part of the role of KFO is to advocate for you know proper player contracts i've seen several players complaining that their contractual obligation has been violated the deal and partnership they signed with the team you know gets violated the team does contrary to what was sealed on the paper as a body mandated to you know sort of bring the two conflicting parties together and solve you know the concerns of the player in question how is the progress right now yeah you know in kenya the situation we have we are in is that uh, it's problem problem every time because you read on newspapers in television you see the, you, you watch the news uh, it's just players have gone three months without pay you know yes. um, when we get to the transfer period we have uh, most of the clubs releasing the players without even communication and uh, through text at times <coughs> at times verbal communication like kesho skuja mazoezi you know so uh, but what we always do is that we always go back to the club to make sure that they have mutual agreement between a club and a player because we we always resort to the last I take, let's say, Club A to the court about your issue, to court about your issue, then, you know, each another club sees that, okay, Maxwell alipeleka hii club kotini. Also, kutafuta kazi ingine na kuwa ni challenge. Kwako. So we always, do, uh, we always try to avoid that, that, okay, we, we make sure that the relationship between the player and the club is still intact so that if you agree on a mutual agreement and move to the other club, we don't have issues like maybe you have in this plane or you took another because most of the clubs and, and, and the same way like corporates, they don't like court cases. So we always try as much as possible to solve it internally so that it, it doesn't uh, blow out of proportion. Maybe your final thoughts with regards to what you expect from you, your undertakings in terms of yeah, yeah, we have that football <laughs> gross. We have a dream. And my technician, my director still reminds <laughs> me. <laughs> you know, these things are used in church most of the time. But <laughs> you know so, right. yeah. so, okay, what I, what I want to say is that uh, as an organization, we have a dream. Yes. And uh, we are going places. We have a lot of things in store. We have a lot of work to do. And uh, the day we will see that uh, clubs are honoring contracts for the players, Clubs are, are having medical covers for the players. And uh, also like uh, clubs maybe are having insurance covers for the, for the players. I think that's the time we'll say, okay, we are almost there. But until then, I still, I, I still, uh, uh, we think we still have a long way to go. And uh, we need a lot of commitment. We need a, a lot of energy. And uh, we really need a lot of support from the players to make, to make this happen. And even as we speak about players joining leadership positions, Dan Shikanda, former player at both FC Leopards and Gurma Football Club and even national team, is now the chairperson of FC Leopards. Uh, your good friend, 
uh, Bonfas Ambani tried, but his bid didn't go through. Football Kenya Federation presidential elections coming in not too long, and I've seen pronouncements, declarations from people who won't serve <laughs> the game. <laughs> As Kefwa, are you fronting anyone from football circle <laughs> to go for the big six? Or <laughs> uh, I think, okay, for us, um, where we are, we, okay, we don't support anyone maybe going for... You have to be neutral. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, because we are affiliated to the Federation itself, and uh, what we believe is that uh, we can share ideas, we can give our views as, as the organization, maybe to the Federation or to anyone that wants to vie for the Federation, but uh, at the moment, our main focus is just for the, for the players, you know. If we, if we, uh, we go into politics at this time, I think we will lose focus, and also I think uh, we could have, it will derail us because we have a lot of things to do for the players. And I, I, uh, what we know is that our main focus as Kenya Footballers Welfare Association is the players. So maybe politics of federation and uh, anyone coming for the federation, I think is... Uh, for us, we, we are out of it. So for us, anyone, okay. Whoever wins and comes there, you work you for him. Work with him. Yeah. If Nicky stays there and the way we are, we are still working with him, I think we, we are just in a better position because we have a good relationship with him and uh, I think we are but working. despite your affiliation to the current federation, that doesn't necessarily mean that you will support the incumbent in his re-election bid. Uh, what, what, oh, okay, we, we don't support anyone, that's, yes. uh, that's for, for sure. So we are just, uh, for us, we are, you know, we are an independent organization and uh, we just focus on the, on the players. Whoever comes there... At times we always share with him ideas that develops the player because we want good for the player. So whoever comes in and also looks into the welfare of the player, better. If he stays there because he's looking uh, for the welfare of the players, for us we don't have any problem. Uh. Always a pleasure joining us, James Situma, KFA president, former player for the national team Arambe Stars, who announced his retirement a few weeks ago. And remember, he also featured for several local clubs, FC Leopard, Sofa Parker, Task FC, and recently Madara United. He says he started his football back then at the high school level, 17 years down the line, and he played for one of the schools at uh, the Bungoma County, that is Sirakaru Boys, where he got spotted and he hails. You know, sports games as you know as a f an entity that enables these players at tender age to get spotted. Always a pleasure speaking to you, James. Very good afternoon and thanks for coming through. Nashkur, sir. And of course, right away we're gonna link up with Robert Osoro, who's been pitching camp to more international sports center Kasarani to talk to the national team, Rambe Stars parties ahead of their friendly clash against Uganda cranes tomorrow. Remember, Kenya will be playing their friendly fixture. Michael Engineer Olunga is the standing captain replacing Victor Wanyama. And over to you, Robert Osoro. If you can hear me, just take it over and tell us what is happening at Kasarana. I understand the national team is training ahead of their clash tomorrow.